Well, when it comes to the British royal family, not much is known about who keeps the $35 billion monarchy functioning behind the scenes. So we thought we'd ask Oprah. No, Meghan Markle spoke about the firm during that explosive Emmy Award winning interview with Oprah. Emmy nominated. And, yeah. But who are the key players and what exactly are their roles? Royal commentator Angela Mullard has more. When you're head of the firm, there is people around you that give you advice. Can I go and have lunch with my friends? No, 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 you're oversaturated, you're everywhere. It would be best for you to not go out to lunch with your friends. It's not a fairy tale, it's real life in there. Well, so to speak, good out there. You have to you play by the rules. Play by the rules. Because I do things differently, because I don't go by a rule book, they see me as a, a threat of some kind. It can be confusing to differentiate between the family and the machine that operates the royal family and is in fact head of this $35 billion empire that they oversee. But if you imagine that there is the family on one side and then the other side, there's private secretaries, there's the Lord Chamberlains, there's people that are supporting the royal family in their roles being done and they wield extraordinary power. In the past of course Diana would call out people like the courtiers as the meddling people, the men in grey suits and this is who Meghan was also referring to when she spoke about the firm. The term the firm actually came from King George VI, the Queen's father, who famously declared we are not a family, we are a firm. It's called the Firm of Eight. It's, of course, headed by the Queen, who is supported by Charles and Camilla, the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. Then, of course, by William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Anne, and then the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Edward and Sophie. It's down to eight now because Harry and Meghan have stepped away from royal duties, and, of course, so has Prince Andrew. Obviously, he's in line to the throne, but he is not now a member of the working royals. Some of the most powerful people behind the scenes in the palace are the private secretaries. They are the head of each individual household. So Charles and Camilla have them. The Queen, of course, has them. Kate and William have them. And it's their job to actually talk to each other to make sure that royal appointments do not conflict, that they're on the same page. They've had positions in public life. They may have worked for the British government. For instance, the Queen's private secretary, Sir Edward Young, had a role in politics. Charles has Clive Alderton, he was a former diplomat on the world stage. And William's current private secretary, Jean-Christophe Grey, he was a member of David Cameron, the former British Prime Minister's staff. Oh, look, it can go both ways, interestingly. If there's a great person working for the royals, they can get poached by the government back again, as is the case with William's previous private secretary, uh, who has gone to work for Boris Johnson and, uh, and into his team. Interestingly, the Lord Chamberlain, the person that sort of oversees royal events and vestitures, the sort of pomp and ceremony of the royal family, now is a man who was formerly the head of MI5, so the Secret Service, so very high-powered positions. Like any big business, of course, they have to be financed. And one of the most complicated things is how the royal family pay for the jewels, the gorgeous outfits, you know, maintaining the gardens. What happens is that the family make money from the Crown Estates. Now, these are properties that they either loan or lease. They can be a series of buildings, they can be farms, they can be businesses. Prince Charles runs the uh, Duchy of Cornwall. It's a big organisation, employs hundreds of staff, many properties, those properties are leased, they're farms, they make money, they, you know, the prince even has a line of, of, of biscuits and condiments and spreads uh, called Dutchy Originals, famous, they're in British supermarkets, and this is part of how the money goes back into these estates. Now the sovereign grant is amount of money that each year is paid to the royal family. 25% of the income from the Crown Estates, effectively public money, is given to the royal family to run everyday things. And it is used by the royal family for their living expenses, for travel, housekeepers, general maintenance, staff wages, for of course security, which is a large one of their costs. Um, the other 75% goes to uh, the British Treasury. 
The Queen has income in her own right. She has about 640 million and she's in fact listed in the Sunday Times uh, richest people every year, which is a, a sort of benchmark of wealth in the UK. She's also financed by the, what's called the Privy Purse. So she has the sovereign grant on one hand, but the Privy Purse is the term that's given to the money that is produced from her estates that she owns. So Balmoral, um, Sandringham, money that is made off um, of those estates. And there's several of them around the UK. They are parcels of land, uh, parcels of property, and they are income producing assets. The Queen also has her own investments, her property portfolio, and of course her racehorses, which uh, from time to time, who knows whether they're a good investment or not, but they certainly bring her much happiness. It's big business, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, I'd love to be one of those private secretaries. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'd be just ringing up the private secretaries. You know, I'd be saying, "So, what is Kate wearing tomorrow? Is she, yes. is she in the aubergine, your favourite colour?" Yes. Or is she coming back to a cerise peplum, perhaps? <laughs> anyway, it'd be, I think it'd be fun. You know what you'd be doing? What would I be doing? You'd be in the royal shop, going looking for the staff discount on the snow globes. <laughs> and uh, on, the on, on the biscuits. Yeah. <laughs>